Stick Man, Fury of Five. And, uh, you know, just working, doing that, riding motorcycles. You know, I got an S1000RR sport bike. You know, that's my new hobby. You know, I do some rap stuff here and there. I'm doing a track with Danny Diablo. We were working on that last night. It's going to be something pretty good, pretty crazy, hard, you know. Great. But, you know, just raising my son and just working really, man, you know what I mean? You know, trying to do Fury 5 reunions here and there, but nobody really wants to, you know, they all don't like me or whatever, but it is what it is, man. So, But do you still have any beef with anybody from, I guess, back when you used to have beef with everybody? Nah, nah. Band-wise, you know, back in the day, you know, Fury 5, you know, we were a very underrated band, and, you know, there was no respect, you know, and we just, like the song says, we just went and took respect, you know what I mean? If they didn't want to, you know, do the right thing, you know, like some of these headliners want to monopolize the stage and whatnot, we rectified that situation. Some bands got beat up, you know what I mean? Your Cold Chamber, Guar, Machine Head got stepped to, Pantera got stepped to the Dynamo Fest, Desi got stepped to at the Dynamo Fest, you know, uh, me and Lauren, from DVA, cool now, but you know, they caught some wreck, you know, pissing razors, a whole bunch of bands, your club owners, own manager, you know what I mean? We Anybody disrespected or we felt disrespected, they caught the rap. That's it, you know what I mean? Like, but now I don't got no beef, you know what I mean? I hope not, but I watch my back constantly because, you know what I mean? You never know, you know, you'd be sleeping, somebody come up behind you. You know what I mean? I always got myself up against the wall, as you can see. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting me from behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good times, man. Good times, bro. True. Are you surprised that you're still alive? All the time, bro. Especially I ride a sport bike. So, you know what I mean? And I don't ride like a normal human being. So, just to be standing here today, my son's 15 years old. You know what I mean? It says a lot. You know what I mean? It's not my time. When it's your time, it's your time. I don't think about it. You know what I mean? That that doesn't scare me. You know, I don't think I'm going to die anytime soon. You know, like, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about karma. What comes around goes around. You know what I mean? So when it happens, it happens. When I'm dead, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do about it. So it is what it is. You know, yeah. I just live my life day by day, check by check, and that's it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tomorrow's a new day, and I get through that one. If I wake up, another one. And then... But, you know, to be here, I'm going to be 46 years old. You know what I mean? I have no regrets. You know what I mean? No, no remorse. You know what I mean? I apologize to some people that deserved apologies from me for previous you know mishaps or whatever you know but other than that nah, i'm still here i'm gonna be here for a while awesome <laughs> that's awesome i think two of the youngest looking guys at the show besides your son is yourself and john joseph yeah i just saw him before i said what's up to him yeah you know? but he, he's a vegetarian i'm a vegetarian now myself you know a little over a year now you know and i i definitely feel a difference and i and i, I really enjoy it and i was a meat and potato dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. Steak, chicken. Now, like I, I can't even believe I used to eat that crap. You know what I mean? Like, and yo, I feel healthier. You know, I just got to get to the doctor and get some blood work because sometimes I feel a little tired. You know, it might mess with me a little bit. I never yeah. really did my research on that aspect of what new nutrition's that I need to put into my body. But yeah, it's either neither here or there. But you know, yeah, you know, I work out too. You know, yeah. Four, four times a week easy plus I do physical labor right you know so but I also think young you know what I mean and yeah. you know I got a young kid I do young things you know what I mean so Jordan take a look man tell him who you are kid J-Rock the baller I'm this old man's kid <laughs> great guy <laughs> can't ask for anything better your music People still listen to it. People still buy your merchandise, whatever. The music still lives on, and and uh, you know, people can still identify with it and still you know get into it as much as they do. Uh, well, I have to say, well, I don't know about the younger generation, but you know, the older fans, such as yourself, and you know, 
most people that know Fury 5, it's just real. I'm a real dude. It was real anger. You know, I was the same dude off stage that was on stage. I never fronted, was never a fucking rock star. Never hid in the back room or pretended to be something I'm not. I just had a lot of anger issues. And I used hardcore as my ventilation. And I spewed it on the fucking world. And the lyrics is real. I, listen, we weren't the best band that ever did it. You know, we weren't the top-notch musicians. But we came with that real that, that I don't think anybody to this day has the same effect. You know what I mean? If you're a five fan, is a different fan than any other fan. It, it, they, they know exactly what they come for. Because when we used to play, the crowd used to leave. They, got, they were just as mad as we were. You know what I mean? So the crowd is just like us. You know what I mean? That's why. And it just keeps on going and going and going. Plus, you know, I got my boys from Wisdom and Chains. You know what I mean? And all my, my BFL brothers. You know, that kept me relevant after the fact Fury 5 broke up. You know what I mean? That kept me in when the Jersey Cats just just let me fall. You know what I mean? A lot of bands from Jersey, you know, just wanted to step up and be like, we own Jersey now. You know what I mean? But the truth is, Fury 5 put Jersey on the map. And that's it. You know what I mean? And my PA brothers, BFL, they kept me relevant to this day as we speaking right now in this interview. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if it wasn't for the Wisdom of Chains and my brothers, Richie Crutch and Mad Joe Black and all, all, all my family, you know, the Fury 5 might not be as relevant today. You know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. we don't play. We're not doing reunions like all these old school bands. You know, we, we're not that. I did one Fury Jam in 2010 just so my son could see me play. Yeah. You know, I only did it for him. You know what I mean? And it was one of the best shows I feel like I've ever played because he saw his dad doing his thing, you know what I mean? But, you know, there's some cats in Jersey that don't respect that. And most of the band members, I don't want to disrespect them, but they were actors, you know what I mean? I conformed them to be who they are, and now they are who they are. And when they were in Fury, they were acting, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, you know? But, you know, I'm cool with Mike Terry now, who, AKA is Mike Terror, you know what I mean? And, you know, we're talking and, you know, you, you listen, you can hate me, but on the business end, we could do a reunion, make a little dollars, and then go back to hating each other. But they can't even see that far, you know what I mean? Right. Because they got so much hate from me for a while. I don't know why, but whatever yeah. is what it is. What kind of stuff have you gotten, have you had to work through over the last number of years to get to where you are today? What kind of struggles have you had to go through? You identify or take something from this. Uh, everything's just, every day is a struggle, man. You know what I mean? Every, you know, just even now with responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? Like getting a paycheck. You know what I mean? You know, raising a kid. You know, like there's many struggles. My mom's sick. You know, like you know, and I have a lot of issues still. I got anger issues. You know, not to the degree that I once had in Fury of Fire because I was really angry back then. I still, you know, sometimes that part of me. I think I'm afraid to let go, you know what I mean? Because I, don't, I think I might be becoming normal, you know what I mean? And some things don't even feel right. It's like crazy, you know what I mean? And sometimes I hold on to little pieces just to keep me grounded in that area, just in case I have to go back to being some certain character that I once was. Yeah. And it's crazy. Every day, every day is a struggle. Every time you wake up, you know what I mean? Until, until I die, I'm probably going to struggle every day. Right. You know, another obstacle, something, you know what I mean? Like, we just had a dog die. You know what I mean? And that's a struggle. You know yeah. what I mean? And we spent a lot of money to save its life, and then we don't have a dog. You know what I mean? Now we have to struggle to get that money back. You know, that every day is like something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just crazy, you know? Yeah. And you just take it in stride and try not to stress it too much, you know, and hope for the best, you know? I try not to expect the worst, yeah. you know what I mean? But, you yeah. know, it is what it is. How, how your training helps you cope with the hardships of life, maybe how people can learn you know, apply some of the same, uh, you know, uh, things to their own life. Work, working out is one of my main, you know, keep my mental level, you know what I mean? So, like, I have to train. She, my, my girl will tell you, Jordan will tell you, yeah, I, I go to the gym. I'm regimented, you know what I mean? It, you know, it just makes you feel good. I'd rather go to the gym in the morning than have to work because if I'm going to go tired, I'd rather go in the morning and work all day and come home. 
and just relax, you know. But sometimes I have to go after work, but, you know, it's a big part of my life, and it definitely helps, you know what I mean? But it's hard for a lot of people to start to get into that routine, you know what I mean? But I, I've been doing it for so long, it's just natural. I don't train to the degree I once did when I was in Fury 5, it was way bigger, you know what I mean? I'm still in good shape, but you know, I was like 262 pounds, a freaking monster with dreadlocks, you know what I mean? It look, the scare your children look, you know what I'm saying? But you know, now I'm going for that sexy look for my girl, you know what I mean? So make her a little happy. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and I just think young, too, you know what I mean? My whole mentality is like a kid, you know? Sure. You know, I, I reckless spend money, you know, and, and she doesn't like that either, but <laughs> it's what it is. Keeps you a bit impulsive, you know? Yeah, I'm very impulsive. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I get it. <laughs> yeah. if I, hey, like I said, if I'm taking respect, I take <laughs> everything. Yeah, yeah, if I yeah. want, I just take it. Yeah. Um, any other, I guess, words of wisdom, having you lived all the years you have to the, to the youth out there who are struggling to get through hard times and hardships? Well, you know what it is? Uh, I try to explain to people that, like, you have to, especially, like, drug addicts and substance abusers and alcoholics, you know, everybody's been there. Big people been do, through that. you got to get to your deep-rooted issues. And bring it to the surface. The only way you're gonna battle your demon. You know what I mean. You gotta let it be known, and it's the only way you're gonna save yourself from that that road. You know what I mean. So, you know, you just gotta know who you are and be happy with who you are, and and and, and bring it to the surface. And hopefully, you'll get yourself in the right path. You know what I mean. I'm very comfortable with who I am. You know what I mean. I mean, I have my ups and downs. Everybody, it's life. It's, it's gonna happen. You know, but you know, you just gotta figure where to put your foot and then move forward. You know what I mean? But if you don't know who you are, then you're gonna struggle and you're gonna cover your pain and you're just gonna go deeper and deeper and deeper into a hole and then you're gonna be dead. You know what I mean? I don't wanna die, I wanna live. So I figure it out and then move on. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta let it out. If you keep it in, you're gonna kill yourself. You know, so you know, you just gotta, it's all, it's all starts about who you are. You know what I mean? I know exactly who I am, and I take it from there. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, if anything, just be yourself. You know what I mean? Don't try to be. I don't try to be no nobody but me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't go around here fighting. You know what I mean? Trying to be some super thug and this and that. Just be myself. Laugh, crack jokes. You know, yeah. and if beef comes my way, I handle that. You know what I mean? But I don't go out of my way looking for it or nothing. I just be myself, and you know, and respect comes and. And I'm good, you know? But you just gotta know who you are, man. Be yourself, that's it, you know what I mean? Don't try to front, be something you're not, because you're gonna end up somewhere you don't wanna be, bottom line, you know what I mean? Some very wise words, man. Some very wise words. Uh, any shout outs to, um, you know, friends of yours, bands when they come up, uh, people, uh, good resources to check out for the truth, um, you know, things to avoid, stuff like that some final guidelines to get through life uh, you know the band wise yo wisdom and chains right now they're killing it man they are the truth yo if you haven't heard them check them out mad joe black richie crutch evan uh, the, uh, sh the, the guys are just top-notch dudes and their music's incredible you know they got a song called friends it's like one of my favorite songs i've been hearing songs about friends since the 80s you know what I mean? I come from that realm, you know? So like, they got the best song about friends I have ever heard, you know what I mean? And the video's great, you know, all the friends are in it. You know, Wisdom and Chains is that band. You need People need to check that out and, and you know, buy their records because they really deserve it. Strength for a reason, you know what I mean? There's a lot of bands, Lifeless, you know, there, there's a lot of bands out there that are doing it real big right now. So, you know, look at those guys out, sicker than most, from Jersey, yeah. a whole whole bunch, you know what I mean? I can go forever with the bands, man. Sure, sure. You know, that's what hardcore is supposed to be about, man. Support the bands, support the scene, and, and, and you know, unify, you know what I mean? I, I see crews destroying scenes and, and, and just destroying states with it, you know what I mean? Like, you're beating up on your fan base, knock it off, 
you know what I mean? And, and, and let's get back to the basics of hardcore, unity, the music, the place where we come and, and invent our shit and, and go home and live another day. You know what I'm saying? That's it, really, you know? Very wise words. Uh, like people are going to be, you know, surprised. But in my opinion, I'm not surprised at all to hear your maturity and your ability. Well, I've grown, you know what I mean, from the Fury days. You know, you're talking almost 20 years ago. Fury 5 was started in 1994. It's almost, you know, 2014. So, yeah. you know, I'm, like I said, I'm going to be 46 years old in January. Yeah. I've learned a lot, you know what I mean. Definitely mature, but I still got hand skills. If anybody want to test me, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm still busting stage dives and flips, moshing in the pits. You know what I mean? This stuff doesn't go away. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah, I'm, you know, you grow up. You know what I mean? And, yeah. you know, I'm a father to a beautiful son. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, I got to teach him the right ways. And he busted his first stage dive today. So proud of this kid, yo. It's awesome. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> great. great. It was awesome. That's super. No matter the project, no matter if it was your album or if, it, if you were guesting, like on all the Mushmouth releases. Right, right, right. Here to say, I was talking to Chris earlier about that. Great song, man. You know what I mean? Like, there's some, like, that song is like, people just don't know. You know what I mean? They hear what they want to hear and that's what they're going to do. You know, most of these new hardcore kids don't even research the old stuff. You know what I mean? My barber, we're talking about it today. My man, Dan and Sean, what's up, my man? And, uh, you know, He's a young kid, the barber, and he's so knowledge on the old school. You know what I mean? And he was even talking about like how people don't even know who fucking Warzone is. You know what I mean? Or DRI or, you know, Youth of Today. You know what I'm saying? And, and, they, and they cater to all these fucking internet hardcore bands that are like here three months and then they disappear. They make a whole bunch of merchandise, they sell it, and then they're gone. You know what I mean? Go down your roots. You know what I mean? And, and get your get your knowledge, man, because there's a lot of old bands that are just as good as these new bands, if not better. You know what I mean? Killing Time, Bright Side. You know what I mean? That's like one of my workout records. You know, Age of Quarrel, Crow Mags. You know, there's like records, Cost from a Lark, Nazi Point, one of my favorite records. Half of these kids probably never even heard that shit. You know what I mean? So go do your fucking homework, you heard me? Damn. For real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really, go get yourself knowledge, man. Yeah. You want to be part of the hardcore scene? Research it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Google's there. Use it. <laughs> I know you got a fucking iPhone. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> looking forward to hearing your song. I'm very excited to hear you did a track with him. Oh, oh Danny Diablo. Yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were in the studio last night. Yeah, he laid a fat track, man. Very impressive. You know what I mean? It's cool because a lot of... A lot of people wanted to see that and it actually is happening so you know it's good shit man and he's a good dude man good yeah. people his old crew got mad love for them dudes man awesome. black and blue baby you know what i mean yeah. bfl you know how what it is okay thanks so much bro no thank doubt so, man thank you very no much doubt. once again right, thank, thank you so care, much man.